class. This is your professor, Dr. Elisa herrera Set. I'm here in my bedroom because just like all of you in California and a lot of the United States, we are practicing social distancing or what I think has been now called physical distancing um, while we wait um, for the coronavirus issue to be resolved. And other people are out there not waiting, but um, fighting to save people's lives and that is why we are all staying indoors to keep um, to decrease the chance of us potentially spreading the virus um, unknowingly so um, today I thought we would do a session on the bed because um, some of you guys are probably in small apartments not a lot of space maybe not a lot of floor space and so we're gonna do about 45 minutes of Pilates in um, uh, on a bed. So it's not gonna be that different from doing on a mat, um, but I hope you enjoy yourselves and um, get a little bit of movement in. I'm guessing you've been sitting a lot in front of um, maybe a TV or your computer doing work and not walking around very much. Um, hopefully you're out there running, but uh, if not, um, here we're gonna focus on a little bit on opening up the stuff that's probably tightened up from sitting. All right. Go ahead and lie down on your backs. For the most part, you're not necessarily gonna have to watch me. I'll use words so that you can know what to do. Take a deep breath in. And let all the air out. One more time. And as you exhale, sink a little bit deeper into the bed. Let it all go. Go ahead and have your knees go side to side, just gently rocking them. A little bit of hip movement and low back movement, just a little bit. We're not making big movements, we're just getting things started. And stop in the middle, and now bring your arms up to the ceiling all the way above your head. Inhale, exhale, bring it down. Again, inhale, exhale down. Two more. Take the full inhale as you bring your arms overhead and full exhale as you bring them down. Last one. And this time bring your hands behind your head. Bring your elbows up so that they're going towards the corners where the ceiling meets the wall. And now just gently lift your head up just above the bed. Like maybe a half an inch off of the bed. Relax your head in your hands. Try not to hold yourself up by jutting your head forward. Now take a deep breath in and exhale, curl up. Inhale, come down. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, come down. And six more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And curl up and hold it here. Extend your arms long. Good. And now reach your fingers a little bit more towards your heels so you come up a little bit higher and now alternate picking up your knees lift your right leg up and down left leg up and down and take a glance at your belly button and make sure it's not popping up make sure your six pack isn't popping up four more four three two and one, and come down. 
Lay here for just a second, take a deep breath in, and let all the air out. Now bring your arms to the side, move your pillows out of the way, like, oh. arms out to the side, and then we're going to go a little bit bigger with our legs now, right and left. So earlier we were just gently rocking just a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left and now we're doing almost to the bed or just as far as is comfortable for you. And four more, right, left, right, left. All right, bring your arms by your side. Open your shoulders wide and reach your fingers towards your heels. And now tilt your tailbone back and forth. Press your low back to the ground, tilting your tailbone to the ceiling. And then release. And repeat that motion, tilt and release. Now, I'm gonna scoop myself over a little bit so you can see a little bit better. All right. Um, with your feet, Notice if you're pushing into the ground. I want you to barely push your feet into the ground, or not the ground, but your bed. So try not to make an indent in your bed at all. And release, and five more. Five, four, pressing like you're reaching your belly button towards the mattress. Three, two, and one. All right. And now this is actually harder on the bed than it is on the hard floor. So the softer your bed is, the harder it's going to be. You're going to do that same motion that you just did. And then now press into your heels and lift your hips up. And then come down. Now as you're doing this motion, you are trying to press your back, press each section of your spine into the bed first and then lift it out like a shell in the sand, a string of shells in the sand. Does that make sense? I usually say like your back is a string of pearls and you're lifting up one pearl at a time. I'm not sure where I got shell and sand from, but anyway, whatever helps you. Try to get as much segmental movement, section by section, throughout your spine. So you're going to tilt, and you're going to go one, two, three, all the way up. And notice I'm not arching like this. I'm trying to flatten the part, the front part of my hips without increasing the arch in my back. And then come down at a time, one section at a time. And let's do four more of those. So here I am in my pajamas. <laughs> you probably can't see me moving very well, but maybe you're in your pajamas too. Three, two, and this time come up and stay up. Alternate picking up your knees. Eight, seven, six. Keep those ribs um, from flaring. Keep those ribs tucked in. What number are we on? <laughs> Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. And come down. Bring your knees to your chest. And then just rock a little bit side to side here. All right. Bring your arms out to the side. And then bring both legs over to the right. I'm glad my toenails aren't in the shot. Because... No salons aren't open, and I could use a pedicure, but I haven't gotten one. I suppose I could do it myself, but I have that shellac or the, the acrylic, uh, the gel, the gel. And so I don't know how to take that off myself. All right, four more. Four. Three. My pillows are kind of getting in the way a little bit. Two. And one. 
All right. Let's go on to our stomachs. So now you're lying on your stomachs. Huh. Don't fall asleep. Let's get your left leg up. And if you're arching your back a ton, I'd like you to not arch, but tuck so that you're not um, getting a lot of compression over here and so you can get a better stretch at the front of your leg. So tuck and stretch. <sighs> this is probably tightened up from sitting a bunch. And I can see in my video, it looks like I'm pretty, like, I think it might be a little bit deceiving, but you wanna try to be as open through the front of your um, hip as possible. And then switch sides, keeping your knees close to each other, tuck under and stretch. So if you can't get your heel all the way, or if you can't reach, you can hold on to your, your pants This is kind of tricky to do these um, lifts like this, um, swan. But um, if your bed's not too soft, it should be okay. But if it starts to hurt here, then probably not appropriate on your bed and you should do it on a harder surface. Okay, tuck under, scoop your belly button in, lower your shoulders down and lift your chest up as much as you can without um, causing too much compression in your low spine. And again, one more. All right, bring your arms out to the side, turn your palms so they're facing towards the, um, your feet, and then hover your head over your bed like this. Now I'm gonna be looking down too, hopefully you'll be able to hear me, but if you're not able to hear me, let me just tell you what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be lifting my arms like this, initiating from my shoulder blades, more so than initiating from my, my hands, okay? Think like shoulder blades and then the arms just follow. We're gonna do eight with your palms facing this way and eight with your palms facing that way. Okay, here we go. And lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to relax for a second. That was a lot harder on the bed than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, flip your hands to, so they're facing upward, and we're gonna do eight of those. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, go up onto your hands and knees and push back into child's pose for a second. Bring both arms over to the right side. Maybe put your left hand over your right. And take a deep breath into your left rib cage. Expanding that rib, left rib cage as you inhale and let all the air out. And now other side, right hand over left. Take a deep breath in and let all the air out. All right, let's do similar movements in, um, in a hands and knees position. Okay, so um, if your bed is super soft, this could be hard on your wrists. So you can do fists probably, and that might make it easier. Well, easier on your, on your wrists. Okay, but harder to balance. So in this position, I go on my hands, you're gonna lift your left arm up and lift, and palm is facing down and lift up eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now flip that palm to face up. Eight, seven, up meaning like towards the opposite way it was going before. One, all right, switch sides. Right hand up, your thumb is facing down to the floor or to the bed. Lift eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now turn your hand, thumb facing ceiling, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. All right, extend your left leg long and lift that leg up and down. Eight, seven. So we're not trying to lower down and lift up. We're trying to keep your um, yourself flat, like the top, the top is in neutral position with a little arch in your low back, but just not sagging. Okay, lift that left leg up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the left leg. You're gonna lift and bend and straighten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back a little bit to give those wrists a rest and your self a rest for a second. Resist the temptation to crawl back into bed. We're not done yet. All right, back to some more glutes. Bring your left leg out to the left like this and lift it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, have a seat. Let's bring both of your legs over to the right. So I'm hopefully mirroring you, but let's just say both legs over to the right. Bring your arms out to the side and tilt and reach. Take a deep breath into that upper side rib cage. This side, take a deep breath into here. And up and go the other way. And take a deep breath into here. I'll let it out. One more each side. All right, bring your legs out like this. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, like you feel like your hips are low and your legs are high, um, and you might feel tight in the back of your legs, then put a pillow underneath. So, where are those pillows? Like you can put a pillow underneath your tush, so then you're kind of lifted a little bit. Okay, bring your arms to here, and twist one way, and the other. Trying to keep everything else still, like your sits bones, the butt bones that you're sitting on are not twisting, just your upper body's twisting. And four, three, two, and one. Now twist and then reach in opposite directions with your arms, rounding your body forward. And come on up and twist the other way. Reach and round forward. One more each direction. And then just roll the shoulders. I mean, we've been moving a ton and this is probably pretty simple, but this is what we need. I'm not sitting like this. Our couch is all hunched. Good. And then open up. So if you feel like a lot of like uncomfortable sensation in your arms, maybe just do one arm, then the other. One arm other and then bring both hands back flip your hands if you can and reach your chest up 
All right, now you're gonna go on your knee, one knee, with one leg bent in front and then one leg straight down. And we're not gonna lean forward. We're gonna tuck under and reach an arm up. It's the same arm as the leg that's down here. That arm's gonna come up and you're gonna reach over and hopefully you're getting a stretch along the front of your thigh and hip. That's probably tight from sitting a ton if you've been doing what I've been doing. And then other side, that little turny thing I did is probably not super great for people who have a ton of knee or hip pain, but go ahead and do that if it's, a, if it's within your comfort zone. Okay, tuck under, reach that arm up and lean over. All right, now you're gonna go on your hands and feet and make a triangle shape. And then let's just alternate bouncing our legs here, getting a stretch along the back of the leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now, hopefully you have enough space and you're not too tall. Yeah, you might not, it might not, it might not work for you if you're tall, but if it does work for you, um, go ahead and stand on one leg. And let's practice the, your balance here. Now, if you're pretty stable here, oh, don't look at my toes. If you're pretty stable here, then, um, and you're in a safe environment, go ahead and close your eyes and see if you can balance there. Whoa. All right, switch sides. I suppose if you're too tall, you can do it in the bent leg position, but <laughs> like Karate Kid, um, <laughs> bent leg position, this is harder. And close your eyes if you can. Woo. All right, you couldn't see when I closed my eyes because you couldn't see my eyes, but you could see because I was a little bit more unsteady. All right, so now we're just gonna finish with one more thing. Let's all lie back down. Maybe you can go under the covers if you'd like. And let's just close our eyes for a moment and think about one place in the world that you've enjoyed being at that you can't go to now. And know that the people that are at that place are right here with you too because we're all in the whole world just dealing with the same thing together. So send some love that direction. Be grateful that you've been there before. Send positive energy to the thought that you're gonna be there again. And we're done. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'll see you in the next class with something probably on some stairs, so, um, or maybe a chair, something else that we can find around the house. Um, but until then, have a good week.